How's it going, guys? I hope you guys are having a great week. So it is Friday, guys. It's that time of the week to talk about either some gaming-related news or opinion video. Um, this one today is actually going to be on the topic of demos. So we've had quite a lot of gaming news recently in the last kind of week about three big demos which are coming up for some of the big releases at the beginning of this year. Uh, we had confirmation that Devil May Cry 5 is going to be releasing a second demo um, from the 7th of February. Now there was an exclusive demo on the Xbox One at the beginning um, of December, um, basically where you got to play an entire mission, including a boss battle against Goliath. That's the footage that we've got in the background here, guys. Uh, you got to play as Nero throughout the mission, and you really got to sort of um, get to grips with his some of his moves, uh, uses Red Queen sword, different things. It was a pretty good length, lengthy demo, um, and that was exclusive to the Xbox One, but. But a lot of PlayStation fans were kind of pissed uh, that they weren't able to play that game. And uh, Capcom have announced now they're going to be releasing a second demo on the 7th of February, which will be available on the Xbox One and PS4. And it's going to be new. So by that, there might be some new content. Perhaps we might get to play a different mission in the game. Maybe we'll get to play as Dante instead of Nero. Who knows? Um, we then got some more news regarding Resident Evil 2 Remake, which is going to be available from today, the 11th of January. And it will be available on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, what's interesting about this demo is it's got a time limit to it. So it is a 30 minute one shot demo what i mean by that guys is you have 30 minutes to play this demo complete the mission survive for 30 minutes to get to the end of the demo and once you've done it that's it you cannot go back into the demo and replay the mission and try different things um you will basically play as a rookie cop leon kennedy and you're effectively trying to escape the rpd station um it's an interesting premise because obviously that's it 30 minutes you can't replay it you can't pick it apart you can't pull it to pieces and i think the reason they've done this is that they're obviously wanting to create that that feeling of um sometimes you know when you're playing the game uh, you have you know one go to survive and you have to really be you have to play smartly throughout it so not using up all your ammo conserving your ammo choosing and picking your fights picking when to flee when to run away and I guess it creates that feeling of suspense by doing the one shot demo as well I think it's quite a smart idea because um, obviously a lot of gamers are going to talk about how their demo went there's going to be a lot of playthroughs I expect of this demo up on YouTube people showing the different ways that they completed it um, I think it's kind of sad that you can't replay the demo uh, and you can't try it again but I kind of understand where they're coming from and it's kind of interesting uh, to see it. Uh, I am sad obviously that we're not going to get to play as Claire. Um, that would have been cool if we got to play like you know two missions from two different perspectives like you can in the main game um, but I, I like the idea of it and obviously the demo is coming out um, on the 11th of January which is not long um, before the actual game is set for launch on the 25th of January and then of course the third demo that we know about the third big demo which is coming out um, is of course Anthem so on the 25th to the 27th of January there's going to be a VIP demo uh, which will be available for all people that pretty much pre-ordered the game or um, joined um, or signed up to either Origin Access or EA Access and you're going to be able to play that demo early on the 25th to the 27th of January so it's going to be like a closed beta uh, they're calling it a VIP demo for everyone else including me because I haven't pre-ordered the game uh, you will be able to get your hands onto Anthem onto an open demo which is going to be running from the 1st to the 3rd of February uh, and of course this demo will be available on ps4 xbox one and pc and you'll be able to jump in and obviously have a go of the game um, before it's set for release on the 22nd of February. So those are three big, big demos that are coming. Um, I'm going to be playing all three, um, absolutely. I will be checking out Anthem um, before it's released on the 22nd. And I will be uploading some videos, some impressions videos, um, and sort of what we learn from the demo, what I generally think of the demo. Um, I might have a crack at Resident Evil 2, but 
like the kind of horror genre is not really my thing i might like get dante to play it possibly and watch him play it and i definitely will be playing the devil may cry 5 demo uh, which is coming out on the 7th of february but apart from sort of giving that information to you guys if you weren't aware um i also did want to talk about um kind of demos themselves as a as a kind of a a service to gamers and i wanted to talk about sort of what makes a good demo uh what do we look for in a good demo what do i consider to be a good demo and what things do i really not like about some of the things that are being um, practiced with demos at the moment so the first thing i really dislike with demos is that whole exclusivity i really really dislike the fact that the devil may cry 5 first demo was an exclusive on the xbox one I hugely dislike that because the game itself is a cross-platform game. It's going to be available across, you know, all ta all platforms. And it really made no sense to me that that demo being exclusive on the Xbox One. Now, why have they done it? Probably they did a deal with Microsoft and got some money from them, which I'm sure helped with the development process, of course. And yes, it does get tongues wagging, and you probably will find that now with the second demo coming out on the 7th of February, the number of people playing that demo is probably going to be maybe higher than it would have been um, because maybe they wanted to play it since December, but they haven't been able to do so because it was an exclusive. But for myself personally, I really dislike demos being an exclusive thing. Um, I hugely dislike it. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of this whole VIP demo thing that's going on with Anthem as well. Um, I just, I just like it. I, I hate it because it's kind of like pressuring and forcing people to pre-order the game or to sign up to Origin Access or EA Access and already put down their money to gain early access to the demo. Um, I don't like that. I get why they do it. They want to get people to pre-order the game. They want to have those guaranteed numbers, guaranteed statistics, obviously. They want that security. They want to give incentive for people to pre-order the game as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't particularly like early access either. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that as well. And that kind of bit by where in the butt really, um, especially with Mass Effect Andromeda, because that highlighted a lot of issues even before the game was released. And it also backfired on Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well, because that had an open demo that had early access. And a lot of people were sort of criticizing the loot boxes, the microtransactions, that news got out there and then people cancelled their pre-orders and didn't buy the game when it actually came out on release so I think as a developer you have to be very very careful when you're offering early access or you're offering a special early VIP demo you've got to make sure that your demo is good and you've got to make sure that your game is good because obviously due to the power of social media it can actually backfire on you um, so I'm not a huge fan of VIP, VIP demos, early access. Um, I don't particularly like it personally. Um, I don't. I don't see why they just don't make it available to everyone. Maybe they do it because it's an online uh, multiplayer game and therefore they're using the VIP demo as a way to basically test the servers uh, before it goes open to, to make sure that they can support the numbers of players that are going to be playing this game. Possibly it's a way for them to test that uh, with a much smaller um, customer base. So it practically speaking, it could make sense for them to want to do it. Um, I understand why they do it and I understand there are many reasons for them to do it. Um, I think for me, when it comes to demos, what I want with a demo is I want to be able to get a feeling of what the game is going to be like. So for a demo, I don't like it to cover like just one mission. Um, and often the, the mission tends to be at the start of the game um, because usually the beginning of the game is, is kind of where the best parts are. It's sort of, it, it's like a movie, you know, it's the thing that pulls you in. Um, you know, the beginning of Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, was really good. Uh, even the beginning of Destiny 2 was really good and it started off really strongly and it had some great cinematics, some great um, visuals and it, it was really important 
impressive looking. Um, so I understand why some developers would show the beginning of a mission, but what I like with the demo is I like for them to kind of um, maybe have several like little missions or whatever it might be, but have, have it drop in at different points in the game. So I remember that Mass Effect 3 had a really good demo because it had, I think it had two missions. Um, one was at the beginning for you to get a sense of the scale and the scope and sort of the epic nature of it. And then I think another mission was more further along in the game and therefore your character um, had leveled up a little bit and you were able to sort of look at these, the, uh, the skill tree, you were able to look at leveling, you were able to use a little bit more higher end gear to get the understanding of how that progression was going to work and how those abilities were going to work. Um, so like for example with Anthem, it would be really cool for them to do that because you get that feeling of like being a rookie at the beginning and what that's like and then you'd also get to get that feeling of, of later on um, being more skilled and having more weapons and more things at, at, your, at the ready for you to use. So I like demos that kind of cut and, and show like little bits throughout the game to, to give you a sense of it. Um, I also like if it's an open world, um, it, it would be really cool to be able to explore it if it was a time limit, for example. So like a 30 minute time limit um, or an hour time limit for you just to explore the world and explore, you know, what you like um, after you've done the mission. Um, I kind of like the idea of the 30 minute time limit for Resident Evil 2. I think that's a really good idea. Um, Though it is kind of a shame that you can't go back and replay it and see different ways that you could approach that mission um, or correct mistakes that you made. I guess it's that feeling of like the choices that you make having consequences and having quite deadly consequences, you know. Um, so I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. But there's sort of really t today's video is just like a random tangent and basically just sort of explaining what I like about demos, what I don't like about demos, and then obviously um, sharing the news about those big three demos with you guys to, to let you know of them so my question to you guys then is what makes a good demo for you what do you look at what do you look for in a good demo do you like demos generally do you think they're a good idea personally i i love demos because i like being able to play a game and check it out before making my decision as to whether i'm, I'm going to buy that game because games now they're not cheap and you know sometimes you have to pick and choose which games you want to play so if there is always a demo or an alpha or something I can try before making that decision I will always kind of go down that route um, but what are your what's your opinion on this do you think demos are important do you think they're a good thing and um, what are your opinions on the big three demos that are coming up soon are you going to be playing them what are you looking forward to playing uh, with regards to the demos and what would you like to see uh, let me know in the comment section below I hope you guys are having a great week take care and as always happy gaming bye guys Thank mm -hmm. you.